So here's Molly. Uh, she just, me and her were taking a nap. And I was kind of weird just taking a nap in the front room on the carpet floor. But um, sometimes it is, it's a lot cooler just laying on the floor because laying on a bed or a couch or something would be a lot hotter. Um, since it is probably getting up to 90 degrees, I would say, in the house. Um, so luckily we turned on the air conditioning and it's getting a lot better. But, um, so Molly just kind of woke up from her nap. Um, she's still half asleep as you can see. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to make a video, uh, for, um, Bonnie, uh, cause she had commented saying that, um, if a dog trust you she'll um he or she will allow you to um place them on their back now um she was laying on her tummy when i first started um uh about to film um but then i placed her on her back and as you can see she'll allow me to do you know whatever move her in any which way <laughs> molly Molly, she's too sad. she's too tired. <laughs> um, but as you can see, she's a very very hyper dog. <laughs> Not at all. Um, which is a very good thing because you know Jack Russells they have they're notorious for being um, very very hyperactive. Um, so luckily, Molly was not blessed with that. <laughs> um, but she is currently in about five weeks of training to be a service dog uh she already knows um two tasks and um completely pretty much i would say 99 percent of the time she acts on them uh so i can consider those fully trained in that area um uh, for those two specific ones um i'm teaching her two more tasks currently and then we're just working on our basic obedience um but uh we've only ran into one problem so far we fixed the sniffing problem but um like she'd sniff at like food um in in the store and stuff and that's a no-no um but her big problem is other dogs um which is kind of weird because she came from a kennel, like a rescue, so I don't know how she developed this kind of, I gotta bark at dogs thing, but um, we're working on that right now. Um, she'll listen to me and regain focus um, after a while, but um, she still will bark at them, so I need to, I need to fix that problem. Um, but, so if you have any tips on how I should fix that problem, that would be great. Because so far we've tried, you know, like, um, stir and nose, like, no. Um, we've tried walking away. We've tried standing at a far distance and slowly inching your way towards them. But um, none of that seems to work. And we've even tried, like, really good treats, like, boiled chicken and all that kind of stuff to kind of reward her and you know um but none of that's worked either so that's my only problem that we're having so far uh she's doing really, really good with training and she's also um very very um well behaved in public um so yeah and if you're wondering what that is um when they fix dogs now, they um, tattoo them, so I'm not drawing on her. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show, make this little video to give you an update on her, and also um, just to show you that um, you know if, if a dog trusts you, they'll let you. Um, they'll go into a submissive position that dogs usually won't go into. Um, Give me my. I know you're tired. She's like, I don't want to get up. She took a 
with the short little nap, and now she doesn't want to get up. Come on. Good girl. You tired? Yeah. <laughs> I always want to lay down. Your ears flipped. There you go. Her ears always flip for some reason. Well, say goodbye to Bonnie and uh, Rebecca. And I'll probably show this video to Kelly and Linda. So, Molly, say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> she was wagging her tail before. Bye, Molly.